Hello and welcome to this data story from Vizu about Rafa's role in Garo's glory. Rafa had 116 matches at the Roland Garros until now. He won an overwhelming majority, 96% of these. Let's focus first on the very few of these occasions when he didn't leave the court victorious. He lost two times against Novak Djokovic, once against Robin Söderling, and had to withdraw from the tournament before the third round due to a wrist injury in 2016. Many statistics don't count this last occasion, which puts Nadal's winning percentage over 97%. Here you can see all 116 of his matches in Roland Garros between 2005 and 2022. The green tiles show the ones he won. From the 112 wins, Rafa achieved 90, over 80% of them, in straight sets, including 7 of the 14 championship finals he played. In 2008, 2010, 2017 and 2020, the Spaniard didn't even lose a single set during the whole championship. In 21 of the matches, he destroyed his opponent's confidence with at least one 6-0 set during the game. Nadal and Djokovic have a long rivalry that started back in 2006 in the quarterfinal of Roland Garros when they were both just 19 years old. Since then, they played nine more times in the French Open, with Rafa leading 8-2. Still, Novak is the only player who managed to defeat him on his favorite court more than once. Rafa's second most prolific opponent is Federer, whom he faced six times. Nadal won all of these matches, including three consecutive championship finals. One of his most outstanding accomplishments is Rafa's flawless record in the final round, where he won 14 out of 14 while losing only 7 sets in total. These 14 titles are by far the most any tennis player managed to win in a single Grand Slam tournament. The 14 titles at one tournament is also a record if we add other ATP tournaments to the mix. And it's worth mentioning that Rafa has the first, second and third position and even a shared fourth place when it comes to winning the same title the most times. Similarly to the Roland Garros, Barcelona, Monte Carlo and Rome all have court clays, so no wonder that Rafa is called the King of Clay with all these remarkable results. Thank you very much for watching this brief overview of one of the most outstanding accomplishments in tennis, Rafa's Roland Garros glory. If you like this story, then check out the previous data stories we published here and subscribe to our newsletter on our website, vizuhq.com. If you know a little bit of JavaScript or Python, then you can build similar data stories yourself using our free open source tools. Be sure to check out lib.vizuhq.com for the JavaScript library and ipyvizu.com if you want to use Python to amaze people with exciting and easy to understand insights.